getting his calls Sorry I was busy, but I missed y'all If you see me ballin' in my bitch ball All my niggas ballin' like I'm rich ball Said I finna outie, I'm a lift car All your bitches look for lotties when you're rich Girl, I cannot believe my couch is going! Like, oh my goodness, the memories on this couch are actually insane. What do you mean? I didn't even give her a name. I feel like I should have given her a name, but shame. I'm gonna miss her. Okay, so this is our current situation now. Can you see how cute she is already? But anyways, our current situation. So I want to open this carpet in that direction. And then once it's open, I then lift this couch onto the carpet and back to the wall. So <laughs> let's get this.
guys are loving and taking care of yourselves at this rate we are literally going to be screaming at the beginning of every vlog but anyways today's scream is due to the fact that i am greeting you guys from my big girl couch after three weeks of waiting it has finally come and i am i couldn't be happier like honestly ish not this eyelash my eyelashes are now growing gang signs okay can't see anything anyways i was saying I couldn't be happier because the problem I don't like ordering things that take time to come but with my couch I said I am not compromising again the first time I did compromise on the couch I bought because I had a much smaller space so essentially I wanted a couch that wouldn't be too much for the small space have you ever walked into a living space and it's like boom a couch like a couch is just screaming at you that's why i got a small couch like it was such a uni couch i was on close friends like guys this is literally giving my first couch because it was a two-seater first of all there were no scatter cushions on it no throw it was just a sad little couch just standing there and i didn't even have a carpet at my last place so you can imagine it just looked just looked so depressing but anyways um I told myself I am not compromising on a couch again. I'm looking for comfort. I'm looking for something that is gorgeous that I can look at and be super happy. And I'm looking for space because my old couch, like I said, was a two-seater. So I went to Zorora Sofas, as you guys saw in my moving vlog. And I got the Lyra Lux four-seater couch in Fiber God White. So the Fiber God material actually helps to... Make it easier to clean, if I believe. If I'm correct, sorry. <laughs> yes, makes it easier to clean and um, something else, something about it's sustainable or whatever, like something along those lines. So that's the couch I got. And then they gave me two free 60 by 60 scatter cushions in the shades Cloud Dance and Nougat. This feels like a makeup tutorial. But period. And then with that, I also got a free Ottoman. And this is so perfect because I didn't want to get an L-shaped couch because this is this is not going to be my final home. At some point, I'm going to move again. But then I absolutely, like I said, when I was buying a couch, I wanted longevity. So if I had picked an L couch and then here, the sliding door is this side, right? So essentially, the L would have been there. Let's say my next place the sliding door will be on the right and then my l shape my my l like the day bed of my l shaped couch is still there it wouldn't have worked out so that's why i decided to get a four seater couch and then get an ottoman separately well i got it for free but yeah get the ottoman and then now if i want to make it an l shaped couch i can if i want to use the ottoman as just like a foot rest anywhere i can if i want to use it as a coffee table i can as well so i just feel like that was a very good idea and good take and what i really loved also is that they give you when you go to inquire because i went to inquire first and i got a free cute little measuring tape so i could really see what size um couch would fit best in my space so because the four seat is quite big right now i'm sitting here and it looks small because these cushions are big so they're also taking up space like the scatter cushions but then this couch is really big like getting this couch in here was such a mission i was listening praying under my breath like god please god please because i you know me one thing about me i catastrophize so i'm re already thinking like oh my word it's not fitting now it has to go back now i have to get a smaller couch but i really want this couch but then thank heavens they managed to like after 40 minutes they managed to bring the couch in because like i said it's quite a big couch and yeah we have a couch and i also got a carpet so my carpet is actually a turkish rug period so as far as carpets go i got my carpet at crystal carpets in crown mines in the south of johannesburg and carpets for me were another thing where i'm like i'm not compromising like i need the finest quality that i can afford like i don't want to just buy a carpet for the sake of buying a carpet so we went to the store about two years ago with my sister she's actually the one who put me on to the shop and when we went two years ago we were window shopping because i did want a carpet for my old place but then i saw this carpet and at the time financially it just wasn't making sense but then i'm like i don't want to just 
buy for the sake of buying so let me just put my carpet dream on hold for now and let me tell you something the carpets there are just gorgeous like it's worth the trip to the south like if you live in the north like i do i strongly believe like it's worth going all the way to the south for the carpet and um they're very affordable well okay it depends <laughs> it depends i feel like for the quality they're very affordable like they have carpets ranging from 1.5 going all the way up to an entire forty thousand rand um so my carpet was three thousand rand it's a two meters by 2.9 and it's actually a turkish rug i think most of them are like Persian, Turkish, so it doesn't even shed. Like, you see how the carpet is like fluffy, it doesn't even shed, and it is so soft. Like, when I stand on my carpet, I feel like I am standing on a cloud. It is super, super, super soft. And of course, it's white because <laughs> my entire vibe for my living space, I'm like, I want white on white with some neutrals here and there. So, like, my scatter cushions are more on the like shades of brown hues of brown and literally i was so happy with how everything came together because living space for me was so important i want to spend more time here be it reading books or whatever the case may be so i'm like my living space is so important i want to look at the space and love it so before i had even thought about moving into a place i had been putting together the pinterest board for my new apartment for like a year now like even through my homelessness i was still scrolling on pinterest to say oh i want this i want that and my living space like so far already looks like a pin right out of my pinterest board and i'm just so thankful to god that everything came together like oh man it's making me so happy like it's just so satisfying to look at like i was even telling um seven zile like the person who helped me with the sale of the couch when i went to Zorora, is when we've been like communicating on whatsapp you know just updating me on how far um manufacturing is going as far as my couch because i had to wait for three weeks i had to wait for three whole weeks and in those three weeks i was questioning like did i get the right color maybe i should have gotten a different color but shame looking at it now i'm so happy that i got the white that i got so i was literally texting to benzile like oh my goodness i'm literally just standing at the corner just staring like it's just that beautiful it's literally just that beautiful so zorora sofas 100 percent recommend they um stay true to their delivery time and completion time and also the crystal carpets people shout out to them as well even though i collected so i wouldn't know delivery how that works but then the service was also really good and i'm so happy with the quality of my carpet but then with that being said so now i have um sheer foil curtains that are hung that are hung up now and as per my pinterest boards all my boards like all the living spaces it's just a voile curtain nothing else so i've been enjoying this but the problem is at night i always just feel so uncomfortable because we live in south africa so um i have just decided to kiss the dream of having foil goodbye foil only goodbye so i'm gonna go to mr price and get the same exact curtains that are in my bedroom the white curtains at this point everything is white even my mom was so disappointed because she's like i didn't consider my nephew when i was picking furniture of which of course i didn't guys i don't have babies now why should i subject myself to a sad gray couch when i could get this beautiful white couch why but anyways with that being said let me request my uber i want to get curtains and i also want to get a salad because tonight i want to make like a cute little rose i probably actually should take out meat one thing about me i don't take out meat and then gives me an excuse to start ordering uber eats which is so bad because i need to start cooking more but anyways Without rambling anymore, let's go get these curtains. even though 
you guys already know what I got to buy. But anyways, I went to Mr. Price. Um, so I went to different Mr. Prices until I actually ended up all the way in Rosebank. And um, just looking for these curtains because they were nowhere on the shelves. So I get to Rosebank and there's one curtain like at the top corner and I'm like okay and I can't see you guys know I'm legally blind so I went um to get assistance and I'm not sure if the guy was like the manager or a store assistant or whatever whoever he was doesn't matter but then he came and then he saw that it was the extra length taped curtains and like my rail is low so I don't need any extra length or else it's just gonna look weird at the bottom so I'm like no ways like how am I only seeing extra length there has to be like stock so I asked him like can't you check because I've really been to so many Mr. Price homes and I need the exact curtain that's in my bedroom to be in my living room so <laughs> I think he found that crazy like just like oh I wish you really wants because we had seen there's another like white but it was like a, a cream white and I'm like no I need the white which I bought for my bedroom so he was so patient he we had to like go through the system type out the exact number from the receipts I had last time and then he found out that he actually had stock so he went to the bag and then he went to fetch them I think they were hidden somewhere because he came back like huffing and puffing but then at the end of the day I'm just so grateful for people who go out of their way it takes me back to the other vlog where I was talking about my career mentor you know people who just go out of their way to help you i mean you could argue that oh yeah it's his job but then like how many people like every shop you go to if, and you ask oh isn't there something at the back they always tell you no like no one really ever bothers to go back and check but then he was so determined to help me and it even just looked like they're already so like there just seemed to be a lot going on like everybody seemed tired and out of it but then he still helped me so cheerfully and i don't know that also just kind of i don't know kind of just inspired me motivated me to be a better person because i know some days i'm just so like so out of it like even now I don't even know if I should share this. But anyways, let me share. Just won't mention names. But I was watching my stories and there's this influencer who was like basically just shouting at like her followers like, Oh, if I posted something and you guys ask me for a link again, da 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 da. And um, like I understood her frustration. Like sometimes you loosely post like, Oh, everything is from she. And for example, my hat, I did say that, okay, put a she in hold, told everybody that I got everything from she in, but then like till this day, I'm still getting questions on where did you get your hats and stuff like that. But then like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know, like, I can't assume that everybody has watched the she in hold. I can't assume that everybody has been following me from the time I posted the story that everything's from she in. This could be like new um, followers who want to know where I got the hat. And, you know, just always be cheerful and you're helping i think that's the lesson i learned from the guy today so, so shout out to mr price rose bank because you have such kind people but anyways aside from the life lessons oh i was in the middle of a hole i don't want the people but i'm here preaching so i got two of these that's what else is in here and then i also got these hooks and um, what is this I got this set so when we went to the ordinary brand trip um i really loved the set that scrunchie was wearing on our way back so i'm like girl you better plug me and she said she got it from mr price so she influenced me on that it's like gym wear and i actually don't have any gym sets and i feel like the sheen haul has really motivated me to wear more figure showing stuff if that makes sense because i feel like this will just be very comfortable loungewear and you know what's so satisfying every time i see influencers matching their living rooms i know it's such a such a crazy thing but then imagine me sitting with my brain on my white couch that's just gonna make so much sense so i got this set um this was unplanned that's why i completely forgot that i got this and i said i got books i also got gliders for the curtain where are they 
So I literally just got one pack each because I already have some from the last time she put the curtains up. She, I mean auntie by the way, auntie's coming tomorrow to clean up. So since I can't hang curtains to save my life and I can't iron to save my life, she's gonna come help me do those things. And then I got my salad. And on that note, let's cook besties. on my story i feel like it was really 50 50 of people saying oh i know that that's what i do and other people being like thanks for the tip so after boiling potatoes i drain them because essentially i'm making roasted potatoes but then i want my potatoes to be crispy so you know how if you just cut your potatoes and throw them in the oven like immediately they're still like they don't get as crispy as they do if you do this so the this in question is shaking them up in the pot but then before i actually start to shake mine i use this seasoning which is so close because i've been this is actually my first time making potatoes in this house I hope you guys can see that so it's the master blends potato seasoning and this stuff literally tastes so good even just the smell the smell like it literally smells so, you know when you're like walking past someone's apartment and you're like, yo, it's giving Sunday lunch. Literally the smell of the spice gives Sunday lunch. So I just sprinkle that all in. Getting a lot. And the potatoes are still quite hot. So I'm also going to add butter and it's just going to melt on the potato. I think I'm going to add some more. It looks like a lot, but it actually doesn't look like a lot now that I'm showing you guys. So I'm going to add butter so that the butter melts into the potatoes. My butter is so messy. Like, I completely understand why people keep this in lunch boxes. I should probably get one for butter, actually. Ah, so as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? My butter is literally already melting, so I'm just gonna mix it in until it melts for real, for real. Cause this part is still very hot. So this is the before, and I was mixing with the wooden spoon, so it has already started breaking up. But this is what it looks like before I start shaking. Okay, I close the lid. Is it still hot? Okay, it's not hot. And I just shake it, like give it a good shake. Oh my goodness, have you seen that? Is it a TikTok or real? Whatever platform it was <laughs> of the guy being like people with air fryers be like that was like the funniest thing yeah, ever. Yeah, that's it anyway. Sorry, can I just... Anyway, what were you saying? Just keep. 
keep shaking this up. So it's actually important that you boil the potatoes beyond them just being soft enough to eat, but then making them really soft so that when you shake them, like they really become a little bit mushed, if I'm making sense. Let me show you guys. So you see how now the potatoes are like broken up and mashed and the corners are like all mashy. So now when I put it into the oven on the grill setting, like those mashed sides are going to become nice and crispy. Hey besties, so here's a before of the curtain situation. So initially when I wanted to test out the voil only, the sheer voil, I told her um, to put it on the inner rail just so that I could see what it's like. That's why there's that black rail there. But then now that I know that I'm getting curtains and I'm not just st sticking to sheer voil, then the curtains are going to be on the second rail. If I was going to stick to the sheer voil, then I was going to get her to remove it and bring it forward so that this that black rail isn't just there exposed <music> Getting, trying to like, oh my goodness, they're here. <laughs> but hey, besties, here's Auntie. Auntie, say hi. Hi, yeah, how are you? <laughs> Yo, guys, Auntie literally transformed this place. Like, she came, she worked her magic. So, guys, please, if you need her to come through, just go. I'll put the number on the screen and you guys just call her, SMS it. Please be serious. Serious clients only. Don't waste Auntie's time. <laughs> but then, thank you so much, Auntie. I really appreciate okay, it. Okay, thank you so much as well. I should have actually done it before because the way my closet gets so messy so quickly is actually so insane and she ironed everything and packed it nicely. Besties, I'm so serious about vouching for auntie. Like she is literally heaven sent. It's so insane because first of all, one thing about me, I absolutely hate telling people what to do, especially if it's someone older than me because it, now it feels like you're my mom and like, you know, I just, I really don't like telling people what to do. So I'd been looking at my windowsill and just cringing because um, there was so much dust and it was dirty and I'm like, Ugh, but then I didn't tell her that, oh, may you please, you know, do this. Did she not clean that window seal, pack everything so perfectly. She ironed the stuff in the cupboard. She packed it so nicely and um, put stuff on the hangers, even in the kitchen. Like everything is just, this place is clean. Even my Turkish rug, that delicate, cute rug of mine, which I've been so scared to even clean. Like I was trying to figure out how am I gonna clean it. Didn't even have to tell her anything. I don't know how she did, but then she managed to just like, make it clean put up the curtains also perfectly as you guys saw um one thing about me taped curtains are not my forte so shout out to auntie and also guys it's literally 12 45 and she left five minutes ago it's 12 45 she left five minutes ago and she was one hour 30 minutes late because she had a situation at home so imagine if she had come on time she would have finished at Math is dribbling me at like 11, 
10 past 11 like how crazy is that so really if you need someone to come in to clean even if it's just like if you want someone to come once a week or or once in two weeks or whatever the case may be i really feel like you guys should recommend her like she's so sweet very trustworthy and so sweet so so sweet with that rant being done guys i don't have a microwave and let's see because like let's see um i gave her food which i was eating yesterday and now it's time to warm and i'm like oh we can warm in the oven i'm like no clarissa you need to stop procrastinating because i've been procrastinating getting a microwave so i don't have a microwave and it's so bad when it's time for me to like eat food from the previous day like i have leftovers that are now rotting in there because i haven't been able to warm them like certain things are easy to warm in the oven but also electricity wise it just makes so much sense to have a microwave like one cart is literally woolies dash checker 6060 um pick and pay pick and pay i think they have an app now but before they didn't have an app and a macro as well all into a cart for same day delivery and for the month of october delivery is free but then otherwise it's only like 35 rand you know how when you're buying from macro and all these other big stores you have to wait like at least five working days to get anything but i can literally order my microwave same day get it same day pay zero rand for delivery like ah, i'm literally so excited so because we underestimate how much we spend on ubers like if you think an uber going to micro coming back that's like probably what 80 80 that's like 160 then that 160 i could have bought something else like i just you know, as for today, I don't know what I'm gonna cook. But I have to cook because I'm not ordering food, period. But yeah, let me, let me get my microwave. One hour later. On today's episode of What Did I Buy? I'm actually realizing now it looks like I've been wearing the same outfit this entire video, guys. I have so many of these cosmon tops. And I'm wearing my YouTube black sweatpants. But anyways, my one cut stuff is here. I was saying my one cut cut is here, but yeah, my one cut cut is here. And I didn't know that when you order from different shops, they come at different times. So that caught me off guard. So if you like me and you live in an apartment complex where a code is needed, then you're gonna have to give two codes. So I only mistakenly gave one code because I thought they were all gonna come at the same time. But anyways. First was my Woolworths stuff. It's actually all these stores. I see Woolworths. Oh, there's Woolworths. It's Macro, Game, Builders, Clicks, Discam, Pick and Pay, Verimark, Absolute Pets, Mr. Pet, Exclusive Books, like all in one place. And delivery is free, guys. Delivery is literally free. That was like my biggest save ever, especially with the microwave. I finally have a microwave. I think I'm going to open this first. Okay, hmm, the smell of fresh appliances. There we go. I just realized that the microwave I bought is not the microwave I wanted. It doesn't even look like the microwave that's on the box. That is so crazy. This is so frustrating. Now I have to pick if I'm gonna keep it or I'm gonna change it. Uh, this is so frustrating. This is so frustrating. Let me think about it. No, I don't want this microwave. Like, I genuinely, I do not want this microwave. Girl, let me think about this. A few minutes later. Yo, the whole vlog, my hair has just been janin' janin' like hectic. I haven't even been like 
<laughs> using the curler. But anyways, besties, I feel like I'm now stretching this vlog a little bit too much because I have things to do and I keep forgetting that you guys are here. So, I think I want to close it off here. I have, First of all, I actually need to establish that that microwave is going back. I will put a picture here. It does not match the aesthetic. It does not look pretty. I am taking it back. Thank God I hadn't like removed things. Like it's literally, I just took it out and literally put it back in. So, bye to the baby. We don't love her, but we wish her well. So, yeah. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow, but then that's a whole new vlog. So I'm going to close it here. Thank you so much for watching, my beautiful besties. I love you guys so much. Until next time.